executive suppression. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. R right hand corner, I think it is. Hit that button. Christmas time. It's time to use some vinyl and rubber care. Just clean the old girl up a little bit. She don't need a lot. Just this job on on here is very wet, very sticky, horrible clay. And we're about to get in there a couple of times to do the tram and that. It's unbelievable how much that stick to your boots. Um, and I scrub about three inches every time I go in and out. I honestly don't mind getting out of the digger and helping. It doesn't bother me getting out of the machine. If anybody is looking for any decent cleaning stuff for your digger, it keeps the dust and that off, that stuff there is the stuff to use. Yes, it is expensive. I think it's about 10 or 12 quid, something like that. But it is bloody good stuff. What we've got to do today? We are, as you can tell out there, it's just wet that did rain last night uh i have finished the bank i finished that bank around the back there and dressed up i'll show you that in a minute but i've now got to scrape all this through do a bank behind me that new material lay the tram down new material on top and bring up to the bottom of the container okay, but we lifted the containers yesterday they're up at the height they need to be i now need to scrape this and then backfill with decent material ready for concrete so, right, once she's warmed up, we'll crack on and start scraping all this wet stuff off. Don't forget. That's it. Right, so what we're doing here is there is a concrete pad coming out the edge of the building here. We'll scrape this clean. Get all this muck and dirt off it. And then what we'll do is we'll scrape that down so we can put a new layer of stone back on top. Get as close as I can in here to get all this muck out. Don't want to get too close because it's a bit of a step there by the look of it. We'll clean this concrete for them. stone is um we will probably make a bank with it So it did rain fairly last night, so it is a bit wet here. But I will do my best to make it so the water runs away. Clean all this wet stuff off, I say, and we'll put new down. My truck is, is all done. The bank's all done, the pad's all done, it all runs this way. It'll, it'll all come down to this point in front of me, and then that that way, and then the wall will go out that way. So it is getting there. It's slowly, slowly getting there. Right, so I've scraped off literally just to behind me. Over there is a pile of the horrible stuff I scraped off. Now about to put some fresh stone down. Once I get to the driveway, we're then going to put the tram down and then layer it up. 
that out here doesn't mean to ram that it's hard enough out here. So it's literally now just going to go along and fill it with a stone. When you do the stone, you want to leave it a little bit higher, it's about a half inch higher, and then that will track in. This is all just slot like it's all got to come off. Look how little it's gonna snow. Christmas day and it's gonna snow. Christmas Eve and it's gonna snow. stuff scraped up and made into a little bank across the back there. The idea for that is that's the same material as what I've got here but it's just really wet. So put it as a bank, let it dry out and when we come to concrete this we'll pull this back over first, level it off and it's done. But for now we're just going to put a load of dry material down with tram. As you can see I'll pick the tram up, sort of half rolled it out to make a start getting this base down which is all good and then as you go you just keep pulling it back with you just keep rolling it rolling it rolling it it's easier than getting in that machine all the time yes it is lazy I know that I'm not saying it isn't lazy but it's only really me doing this so if I can be lazy, I will be lazy. I 
very slow bar like that and just keep pulling it out. Play with the form. Like poetry in motion. Another bucket of stuff put down on there, stop it blowing away. And then I think the idea is we'll get the map pro with the bucket on and he'll bring the stuff over to me and I'll just keep leveling it out. Uh, while I'm here, just a quick one, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to everybody who has supported the channel this year. Um, and may it continue and may the channel grow. Like I say, just thank you to everybody for all the likes, the comments, the people who have watched it. So yeah, without you, this channel can't grow. So I just want to say thank you and uh, happy Christmas. But right, this is a bit boring. A bit boring. You just grab a bucket, take go beer, start laying it down, grab another bucket, pull it out a bit more, and that's, that's all it is. So I'm going to carry on getting this down when we get the map bra up and running. I'll uh, come back to you. Be the easiest way, instead of boring you all with this little bit of a tram being pulled out. What have you? another bucket so that's all it is that's all i'm doing in a minute so right i'm going to keep on doing this for a minute and i'll get back to you shortly tell you what for an old loader a 992 or three she's still got some run grunt in her she's a good bit of kit she really is a good bit of kit she's only a little two 2.6 ton but i tell you what she's she's carried more than 2.6 ton Right, there you go, get a couple more buckets and we're getting somewhere. You look around here, we are gradually getting there. Base is level at the back, bring that through, this then steps down, we're getting somewhere. We're getting there slowly, nearly done. Right, I'll get back to you in a minute. I'll tell you, there's a right mixture now. I'm laying stone, I'm ditching, I'm moving containers. This is the water issue we got. Just, just, just there. That's higher than the concrete. this pile of stone beside me here, yeah, so I can get into that bit there.
this is probably end of uh, 2021. Well, I don't know if it is yet or not, but so we're sort of not finished here, but I've got what? hang on, let me just get my buckets back on. I'm now going to load the uh, low loader and that all up, clamp it all up. But right, I'll take you through this bit. So, as you come through, over there was where that big bank was. I pulled all that big bank back and built it all up and redone the top. He's now using that. I've now leveled this side right off. So this is all done here. So let me just talk you through it. So he wanted more storage area. So there's a big bank that come all the way down to about here somewhere. Well, just where that pile of stuff is. So I've managed to pull that bank and everything else back. Right back there. Reshape all the bank, everything else. That's all done, dusted and tidied up. Behind that, I've redug the ditch to let the water go. That's the material that's left for the next pad, which is gonna go there. This is all dressed in and done, tracked in, tight. Then you come around this side. And where these two containers are, is then gonna have a spanned roof that literally goes over the two. So he wanted this level so he could put a concrete pad in here. So that's all done, tracked in and dusted with a bank at the back to stop the water coming in. So that is a fair bit done. When I come back, uh, I've got to do the driveway, scrape that through and sort that out. Uh, I've done a ditch the other side there, which was what I done first and up the hill, that's draining the water away lovely. So yeah, it's been a big job, but done quickly. Quickly and efficiently as I can. But right, I'm gonna park this up on the low loader, give her a little cuddle, say goodbye to her until probably the 28th, if not the first or second, whenever it is we come back. I might come back on the 28th, depending, we'll see. But right, let's go over to the low loader and get sorted. One thing I love about this hydraulic pump, being able to pick everything up in one go. Love it. The right, there's a bit of a little bit of a drop down here now because it's been built up about a foot. So it should keep it nice and dry. That's stopped running with water now from out of there, so that's working. The only water that's coming down that ditch there is literally from the ditch I dug up the top there. It's running down there running down to this ditch and to the river. So that's working. Right, he's got all his tractors parked up for Christmas. I'm gonna get my digger parked up for Christmas. And yeah, we'll go from there. Beautiful. That is absolutely perfect. Well, Mr. 140, it's been emotional 2021. It's been a very busy 2021. I will get all my stuff out of here and then come the new year, the first day back, I'm going to give you a very big cleaner because you need it. But, right. I'd just like to say a couple of things. I'd just like to say a massive, massive thank you to everybody who has made this channel what it is so far. Um, I know it's only coming up for 500 people or whatever, but in my eyes, that's, that's, that's good. In a year, 500 people, I'm happy with that. Um, I, you know, like I say, I'd just like to say a massive thank you. And um, I'm not saying I couldn't do it without you. Anyway, I'm now gonna switch the key off for a couple of days, or three days, because yeah, we've got Christmas, Boxing Day, then my birthday, and then I might come back after my birthday. Um, there probably will be a couple more videos in between now and New Year, but we shall see. But no, I'd just like to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas and um, 
if I don't see you before, Happy New Year. And uh, thank you all very much for your support. Honestly, absolutely incredible. And the comments and what have you. Thank you, everybody. I, I do mean that. When I say thank you, I do mean that from the bottom of my heart. I really do mean, mean it. So, but right. This could be the last one for 2021. If so, we'll see you later. If not, I'll see you in a couple of days. But have yourselves good and then we'll see you soon on the next one. See you later.